Hello and welcome. I am Ditti Deshpande. This podcast talks about the fourth quarter GDP data released on May 29th. As per wide expectation, the fourth quarter GDP data plunged more than previously expected. Hard data on industrial production, exports, auto sales and freight transport among others had hinted at this. As per the estimates released by the National Statistical Office, GDP growth in Q4 of fiscal 2020 came in at 3.1%. For the full year, provisional estimates are pegged at 4.2%, down from 6.1% in fiscal 2019. The data release brought out three interesting trends. First, farm sector came to the rescue. Robust agriculture growth played a huge role in cushioning growth in Q4 as it grew 5.9%. If not for the outperformance of this sector, overall growth would have plunged deeper. The agriculture sector is also expected to do well in fiscal 2021 and provide support to the economy. Second, there is now a bigger role for the government. Growth in government spending was in double digits for the third consecutive quarter. We believe this sector will continue to drive growth in fiscal 2021 as fiscal spending on stimulus measures gathers speed. The role of private sector in supporting growth will stay weak. In Q4, private consumption growth was at its slowest pace in 21 quarters at 2.7%, while fixed investments contracted for the third quarter in a row. The third thing that comes out is that services appears to be suffering more than industry. For Q4 of fiscal 2020, services sector growth slipped more than industry compared to Q3. The hardest hit were trade, hotels, transport, communication and storage sectors that would have come to a near standstill due to the lockdown. These sectors are set to sink deeper in Q1 of fiscal 2021. The industrial sector, meanwhile, contracted for the second consecutive quarter led by a sharp fall in manufacturing activity. The impact was, however, cushioned somewhat by the strong performance of electricity and mining sectors. The bigger blow to manufacturing in Q4 is also due to a dip in merchandise exports. Crystal, in this background, sees the Indian economy contracting 5% in fiscal 2021. While we expect non-agriculture GDP to fall 6%, agriculture could cushion the blow by growing at 2.5%. The growth contraction in fiscal 2021 is premised on four assumptions. An extension of restrictions, especially in states where COVID-19 cases are still rising, Second, a normal monsoon that supports the Kharif crop and agriculture incomes. Third, softer crude oil prices. And fourth, limited fiscal support to prop up an immediate growth revival. Overall though, risks remain tilted to the downside and hinge on further extension and containment measures, slipping of global growth and possibility of any kind of a subnormal monsoon. Our recent report, Minus 5, which is available on Crystal website, details these assumptions and risks. Thank you very much for listening in. Stay safe.